Johnny from WP Johnny here again, and today I'm going to do a review of the mail opt in lead generation plugin for WordPress. So, what is this? What does it do? Basically, it's a direct competitor to Opt in Monster, Convert Pro, Thrive Leads, Icegram, Layered Pop Ups, Ninja Pop Ups, basically all those different pop up plugins that you've seen before. Mail opt-in is just another alternative to them. So mainly what does it do? It can you know, generate leads. Basically it creates pop-up forms, uh, newsletter forms throughout your site in various places. So for example, like a light box pop-up or in the form of a notification bar. Let me see if I click the demos and see if we can see what the demos look like. Oh, it won't show us there. You see that's a pop-up. This one right here is a slide in. This over here will be a widget, so it's going to bring us to another page where you can see the widget. And this over here, it can go um, before or after a post. So you see in the front of a post, after a post, can also be embedded in line. So, so right there, you just saw it. So it was in line. So basically embedded inside your content. And then there's different trigger features. For example, let me see if I can uh, pull it up. Pull it up somewhere, blah, 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 blah. Not here, not here, not here. Well, display rules, here we go. So after you scroll a certain amount, or uh, if you click on a button it launches, or after a set amount of time, or after a certain number of page views, or certain types of visitors, or if they're coming from a certain referral page, like Google versus Facebook, or, or another website, or different languages, or different devices such as desktop, tablet, mobile, and then WooCommerce targeting. Uh, you can target depending on what pages you're on. And, and anyway, there's a whole bunch of different things, uh, different things you can choose from, different features. There are tons of integrations, so it'll work with whatever you've got. Uh, I use MailChimp and MailerLite. You may have something else. And ooh, so I won't go through the, the pricing. Actually, I mean, I will go through the pricing, but I won't explain it too much of it. It's pretty cheap right now. There is a discount currently because of the whole, there's a Corona discount, but basically for one site, it's $60 a year. This is a huge contrast to, I'm sure if you look at Optin Monster, it's pretty expensive. So there's so many people who like Optin Monster as the default one, but it costs the most. So I'm just gonna give you a quick run through of what it looks like. And oh my gosh, what's going on here? Okay, thank you. So it's really simple. I click on this and then there's basically three areas, the settings and integrations, and then the opt-in campaigns, and then the emails, we'll go through all that. So setting is just basically to set it up. It's very simple. There's a few, little, I won't click on this because I don't want you guys to see my license. Integrations, this is where you set up all your integrations. Everything is really simple. You don't have to deal with uh, all of them. You just go to the one that you're using. So for me, I'm using MailerLite. I go here and then I can just click on this. It takes me right to my MailerLite account and I enter in the API key. Really handy, really quick and convenient. Then to start, we'll just start creating campaigns. So I've already messed around as you can see, but I'll do it again anyway, just to show you how easy it is. So here we go. I'm going to add a campaign. So I just kind of choose from one of the pre-selected designs. Uh, I like this one. I also like this one. Those two are the ones I like the most. So put in a name right here and I'm just going to call this campaign WPJ and I select this. Here we go. And it loads. So that was a pop-up campaign from here. I can choose the color, I can start clicking around on things, change the text, I can hide certain text. If you know if I don't like the description, I can hide that. Uh, and then there's there's all kinds of different options. You know, there's display rules, you know, so we can do uh, I love the exit intent, so anytime they think of leaving, they see that. And, and you know what? I'm just gonna call this uh, exit pop-up. Okay. And normally I don't like to use a font, I just inherit from theme. So it'll use a, it'll use whatever my theme font is. Of course it'll look, uh, it may look ugly here in the preview, but uh, on the front end it will look nice. So there you go, you choose your name, your email address, and then integrations. 
you pick your, you know, pick the integration that you set up. So I didn't set up any yet. So we just leave this alone. Uh, okay, yeah, there you go. So here it will just capture the lead just so we have something to look at. Okay, and, and there you are, it's running. Now let's go to the front end and let's just load this. So I'm just gonna click around and fake. So this is this was the other plugin I the other one I made. And there you go. Oh, I almost exit. Anyway, Johnny. Okay, and then Johnny at WP Johnny. And I just hit subscribe now. There you go. Thanks for subscribing. Cool. Now from here, I can go to leads. And that's where it shows me all the ones that signed up. Now I love this thing right here, this feature. You can click view details. It shows you which page they clicked on that converted. It shows you where they came from. So I came from my own page. If I came from Facebook or Google or, or, or uh, another referral, affiliate, whatever page, it'll show that. It shows the time, it shows the device. So this is really cool. I thought I would never really use it, but uh, I end up actually ended up, did, did end up using it. Uh, over here, I can go to statistics. I can see the number of impressions. Oh, and my internet is slowing down again, as usual, when I record a video. Sorry, guys. This is what happens when I, I have like too too many uh, <laughs> too many pages going on. So, anyways, I'll just give a little rundown while this thing's loading in the back. Um, I liked Mail Opt-in a lot. As you can see, it's really easy to use. There are tons of features and it has about 95% of all the features you'll ever use. If you ever want, to, oh, I don't want to cancel that. Okay, so you can see the number of impressions for, then number of conversions one, shows your conversion rate, but also I really like that it shows which, which ones were clicked on, okay? And which pages were converting. So if I go uh, back to opt-in campaigns, I can also do split testing. Over here, I create a split test, so I'm just gonna call it a WPJ split B, and I'll say that changed the title. Okay, and it creates a split test, and from here, I can decide what I want to change. So maybe this exit, I'm just gonna call it, you know, I'm gonna call it something else leaving the site okay and let's go back to that screen again and here we are so from here it could I can go uh, end and pick a winner so it'll show you which ones converted and how much and their rate and then you can pick a winner and you keep only the good one right and then you split it again you keep testing so you're, you're like a, an amateur copywriter you can also make tons of different splits um, so anyway, you can turn things on and off. You can use, you know, different, different campaign types, and then you know compare all of them against each other. Choose only the winners. Duplicate the winners. Get rid of the losers. And that's it. I mean, you guys just saw how I use this entire plugin. It's very powerful. It could do a lot, and at the same time, it's super simple. Now, uh, what are other things that I really like about this plugin compared to the competitors? So against the competitors, what we're accustomed to seeing is Opt-in opt Monster, Thrive Leads, and Convert Pro. So Opt-in Monster is the most expensive one. It's very pricey. I think it loads third-party assets or, or it runs like software as a service. So some people don't like it for that. They, they prefer to own the plugin and have it loading everything off their site. Also, some people are really turned off because Optin Monster is really expensive. You can see the pricing. This is like per site, per month, and then there's limitations on how many page views. So if you have a site with, a, say, a million page views, you're going to save so much more money going with a plugin. Now, Optin Monster, in case you're wondering, like, what does it have that's special? I think it really just has like one or two things that I thought stood out. For example, the uh, drag and drop builder, so you can really build things from scratch, whereas mail opt-in doesn't have that. So I wish mail opt-in had a more customizable form design where you can make your own thing. But even though the, the even though you couldn't, 
I could make my own, but the built-in ones were totally fine. I, I enjoyed it. You know, it was good enough. Um, I like that they had... I'll show you this one. So Optin Monster has this full screen one, which I think is really cool. It, it basically just takes over your whole screen. Okay, now how badly do you need that? I think it's not really a deal breaker because most of your visitors are going to be on mobile anyway, and the mobile pop-up is does take over the whole screen. So uh, there's two other ones that I thought were maybe cool, like Content Locker, for example. They have to fill in their email or else they can't read what's on the page. Then again, this could be really annoying for users. So do you want to do that? I don't know. But it is nice and it does, uh, it is an extra thing if you think that the extra pay is worth it. Now there's Thrive Leads. I'm just going to say right now, I hate Thrive Leads. It's not built for scalability. It's not built for enterprise use. I have some large clients using it and on a large site with tons of leads, Thrive Leads will slow down your site. It'll bloat your site. It'll put a ton of crap, auto loads all over your database. Just don't use it. I, I think it's, I think anything by Thrive is amateur and poorly coded. Okay, the other common alternative is Convert Pro. This is uh, Brainstorm Force, the same guys who do the Astra theme. So there are many developers I like that I mean that I respect that like Convert Pro, but I personally don't like Convert Pro. I don't think it loads that fast. I think it is it can be bloated. So um, anyway, between all of them, I like Mail Often the best. And uh, right after I installed it on my site, I started getting conversions right away. It's a lot of fun to use. It has just the right amount of options. I think it's coded better, loads faster than uh, most of the competitors out there, if not all of them, and still has nearly all the power features that you want. If there's any extra like dream come true, I wish, I wish that again, that you could customize the forms. I also wish that over here where you look at campaigns that there was a way like if I hover my mouse over or if I click here, like that, I could see a preview, right? So some of you may be power users, you know, you're like a total affiliate marketer, you've got tons of crap all over your site. Uh, you might have 50, 50 forms, pop-ups and whatnot, and you wanna just be able to remember them and just preview what different ones look like. So I wish it was that. And other than that, um, other than that, oh yeah, the email function, I totally forgot all about that. Mail opt-in allows you to send emails right from your WordPress dashboard. So you can go here and from here, you can do it like an email automation. So anytime you have a new post or a new product or something, it sends it to your, it sends it to your email list, okay? Or maybe you just want to create your own email, just blast out like a deal, a special or something like that, right? So it's, that's a big time saver, especially when you hate, like you don't want to log into MailChimp or log into MailerLite and go through the content designer and build a whole uh, email. So you could just do it from here. Other than that, the form is clean. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan and uh, I highly recommend you guys use it. I think for the cost that you pay, you'll make it back very quickly with the, with your by building your email list so easily. It's fun to use. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.